Hey guys, it's Andrew. I'm out here on the Humber River and I'm waiting for some Megansers or perhaps some golden eyes to fly by. They make such a beautiful sound. And when we're hiking here on the on the Bowwater Trail, it's reminded me in our life lesson for the day is about our sense of hearing. Right? We have we've talked about this in the in the in the past, or just about the importance of relying on all of our sensory perceptors. Right? Whether it's our eyesight, our sense of taste, our sense of smell, our sense of hearing. Remember the smell one from a couple of weeks ago when <laughs> we were smelling the coyotes. Right? And I finished that video, I started to talk about headsets. Right? And I see so many people in this day and age, even when they're walking in the woods with a set of headphones on, and I'm just like, okay, maybe they're listening to me with any luck. Right? But I know one thing for certain, no matter what it is that you're listening to, you're missing out on so much potential beauty. And more importantly, you're also not as alert as you could be to certain dangers. Now, I don't know what it's like where it's hiking in your area. Um, and there's all sorts of different levels of danger. I know in New York City right now, from what I understand, it's actually illegal to use earbuds because you have to have your sense of hearing. In a big city like that, supposing that somebody's shouting, in there, hey, watch out! This morning as we're walking through the woods here, there's been a couple of things. We saw, or I shouldn't say we saw, we heard a grouse, a ruffled grouse. And my friend who was, was walking with me, first thing that she said was, oh my God, what's that? Because it, it does sound kind of frightening when you hear a ruffled grouse, if you're not used to it, they make a real thunderous sound in the, in the woods. With headphones, you would never have noticed that. We're out here on the river and I'm hoping because it would make this video so sweet, let me tell you. Because when these Megansers and Golden Eyes, when they swim through this river system, or when I should say, when they fly through this river system, you'll hear this magnificent whistling that is just so, so beautiful. I mean, it is truly a sense of music all unto itself. But guys, the last thing that I want to mention about headphones, and it was kind of the reason I mentioned it when we talked about that blog, about the importance of being, using all of our sensory perceptors, this time of year, when you're in the woods, right, and really any time of year, a lot of our trails, especially in Newfoundland, they are shared trails. All right, and you're on foot with a set of headsets on, right, and there's motorized equipment. And if it's not even motorized equipment, it might be just a pedal bike. Right, fat bikes. I used a fat bike this week. I was down at Rugged Edge and had an opportunity to take Craig's bike out for a spin. Great bit of fun. Great bit of fun. But if I'm coming around the corner and I come up on somebody with their headset on, and it's probably maybe a little less dangerous if I'm on a fat bike, but guys, earlier this year, I came around the corner here on my dirt bike, and don't get me wrong, look, I am ready to stop, all right? I'm a good rider. I'm of that age and that level of maturity that, yeah, my health is really important to me, so is, so is other people's. In Little Rapids, I came along the train tracks, guys, and when I came around the corner on the tracks, and I was, you know, I was coming along, I was doing a good clip. Again, not such a good clip that I can't stop. Because when I came around the corner and I saw this young fella coming down with a dog on the end of a string, golly gagging along, with this great big set of muffs on his ear. Now, guys, I mean, it, they're ridiculous. If your mother made you wear them, right, she'd be up on child abuse charges for making you, sending you out looking like such a damn fool. But here was this young fella coming, golly gagging along with a, 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 a dog on the end of a string, and I'm roaring around the corner, and he had no idea that I was coming. Now again, I'm on my brakes. I had the bike completely stopped before I rolled up and this young fella and got the look of shock in his face. But as I'm there speaking to him, I said to my son, if it had been a younger man, right? If it had been somebody on an older bike, somebody whose equipment wasn't as good a state of repair as mine, you and your dog would be flattened right now. And yes, I would argue that it might potentially be my fault, but man, you should have heard this bike coming from a long, long ways away. And the same as when we're walking today, we're gonna to step off the side of the road. I mean, it's a shared trail system. Right? And maybe as a pedestrian, I do have the right of way. And as my mother <laughs> reminds us, right, you might be right, but in this case, you might be dead right. 
All right, my advice to everybody when you're out there, guys, I mean, do you really need the headset? Can you not make use or make the veil of the natural beauty and the wonderful sounds and, that you're, you'll experience while you're on your hike without the music, without the podcast, without the blare in your ears? Because one thing I do know for certain, you're going to be an awful lot safer. Hope this is a message that gets to you. I hope you enjoy this, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks, guys.